Hey guys, this is Gurries. Welcome back to another episode of Survival of Done. We're back here in Feed the Beast Skyblock, and we have made a place where we can do the mob spawning thingy effect. I did a little bit of cam um, platform creation, not the biggest thing ever, but it's here, it's up and running. So all that's left is to finish the mob farm. So I just wanted to come show you guys how this is working, looking so far. So I'm going to um, place another row of cobblestone over here. And on the bottom, we're going to put half slabs because since the update where baby zombies is a thing, they can get through this, this um, hole here. So we just put half slabs over here and then we can still kill them. So, but... Um, I don't know if you can remember the whole reason why we wanted to mob farm. Um, number one was for the achievement. I'll show you guys now in a second. Or not achievement, the progression. Um, make a dark room 25 blocks away from your base for spawning mobs and obtaining loot. Okay, build a second layer to you. So we did that. Upgrade your mob farm to kill more systematically. Enjoy the sieve mesh. Craft inferior seeds. So we'll craft that. But the thing is, we already have a few seeds that I missed. So we already have a few inferior seeds. I'm not sure if the worms work on them. So I'm not going to waste a worm at this point in time. What we are going to do is make a farm actually this wheat farm is at a bad spot actually um, but it's okay so it's one two three four so it's that one hence one two three four so we'll have it in a way that's this way one two three four Oh, that finished. Okay, so that we can keep with this pattern. Oh, we have a spot over here. But we'll leave this for... I don't know what. But we'll leave it for that. Let's go make another... Oh, wait. wait. One of our things is to make a Maddock. Make a Maddock from Tinker's Construct. Let's see what we need for that. Because that actually is the same thing as a hoe. So this is a Maddock, needs a axe head and a shovel head. Okay, uh, let's grab some flint and sticks. I think let's grab like that. Okay, so first of all, we need to make a axe head. And a shovel. There's a shovel. Why can't I access the pattern chest? Port builder. Hmm. Okay, so first of all, we need to get one of those. So we'll make them flint. Why not? And then the medic, or not the medic axe, and then the tool rod, which will make in wood. And then we'll go to tool station, we'll go to medic, put that in, that in, that in. And that's an axe. We want a mattock. There we go. And flint mattock. Okay, so we can click that one. Start a food form and an inferior masons form. Okay, so we have a food form. Inferior masons. So we're going to skip the making the seed first of all, so we can get more of the. Um, the inferior essence. I'm going to try and see if we can maybe get it still from a mob, so we're still going to do that. 
Um, but for now, let's start trying them. Okay, so let's continue with the build over there. The thing is, oh, I found another um, loot bag that I found this piggy bag in. So apparently, you can carry around animals. <laughs> nice. Uh, where's F5? Nice. Okay, how do you get rid of this thing? Okay, interesting. Um, okay, so that's what that is about. Got one worm. Let's dump all our stuff. So if we fall, that we don't lose too much of our items. We have a dump chest here that we can dump the items we do not want to lose. I don't know where we're going with that. Maybe in over here. Worm can go there. And dirt. Where are we going with dirt? I do not want to keep that in my inventory. In case we lose it, and then we do not want to not get it back at some point. Okay, so let's go build. The platform. So I made a walkway below and on here. Um, so let's see. Can I get in here? Yes. So I just had these temporarily. I don't know if we want to maybe make it higher so that we can actually have more damage when the mobs fall. That might be not too bad of an idea. So the whole idea is just to get a tunnel basically where they fall and then on top they, not on top in the room, later on when we have more redstone or a way to make wires we will um, have a lever to switch the pistons on and off to let water flow or not flow. So I'm not sure how we'll do that at this moment in time. But, okay, so let's stop here. I believe that's okay. Oops. Just for interim, have that there. Okay, so this will be a solid wall. Let's just put that there so that we have light. This will be a solid wall. Going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't remember was this one. I or what? Let's go get some water. I forgot the water. Is that bucket? Come here, bucket. Either fall down. Yes, it will fall down. Okay, that means we want to short. Let's 
try it now. Yes, now it's perfect. Okay, so mobs will spawn this side and they will come over here. So let's just count again. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this also needs to be eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just count again. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So that's perfect. So this will be the back wall and meaning over here mobs will spawn and if they walk over here they will fall in the water and the water will push them this side. So we'll do exactly what we did this side, on that side, have a watch coming this side and pushing the mobs in here and this side all the mobs will flow here. But at the back we'll have pistons operating water or pistons stopping water from flowing this way. But since we do not have redstone at this moment, or well not enough actually, um, we won't have a water piston thing yet. So we'll just hope that the mobs spawn over here. Maybe we can put a ladder on the outside and we can walk up here. And maybe if they see us over here, they will walk closer to us and then they will fall down and we can go down. So let me quickly finish this platform and then I'll bring you back. Okay guys, I've decided uh, against what I was planning, just for the fact that, that we are not at a good the, uh, tech level at this moment. So we are going to do it a little bit differently. Uh, let's see how much we can make out of these. Thank you. Okay. So let's go back up there and I'll show you guys. I was busy putting... Uh, ladders up so that we can cook the, the mobs in but it seems that's not going to work okay so as you can see there's two high level here so this won't work for anything longer than two um, so like enderman but it's in any case going to be water down here so this might in any case not be working so um, we need to make um, Two or three floors, maybe two floors. What do you guys think? So it's one, two, three. Okay, so let's just make two for now. Okay, this will be one floor. And um, this will be another floor. So there's two high between them. Okay, so we need to alternate them or doesn't really matter. No, doesn't really matter. Okay, so um, let's finish the walls. I need in any case a much more cobble. Okay, and then this, as I said, this will be a wall or floor, sorry. So it's one, two, then we skip two and then we put one, two again skip two and then we put a floor again okay so this will be the next wall up just wanted to see if we can how we're going to do this because i want to show you guys hopefully that it makes sense in some way or another So just that we have some stairs going. Okay, that's one, two, and then this will be the roof. Okay, so the roof will cover the whole area. Okay. So now in these places that okay, I just want to. Place. Need to place it aside. 
Okay, and then over here we'll put the doors. So mobs is stupid. They think they can walk over here. Meantime they can't. And they will fall down to the next level and the next level. And we'll have the same thing copied. So we have two levels that I spawn and fall into water. So we're going to have at the bottom layer have water all the way. So these mobs will fall into the water and water will push them automatically. So hopefully with a little bit of movement over with this guys. Maybe I do not like this this way. Okay, so that's what it's, how it's going to look. So let me quickly do this off cam and I'll bring it back once it's finished. Okay, so we're almost done. This is a roof. This is the outside. And this is the inside. So let's open all the hatch doors. So this didn't work out perfectly, but it's okay. Um, uh, what I did is, so what I mean by it didn't work out perfectly, that this is also two space. So what I did is just alternate the where we start and end. So did they, uh, I don't know. I don't know if that will do anything else, but oh well. What do we have to lose? So just open all these guys. And then once they're all open. Oh wait, we need to get away to destroy the torches. Hmm, and <laughs> that's going to be fun. Because mobs is going to start spawning already. And we're not going to be ready for them. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. do. That's going to be one fun trip. Um, so we, what we might be able to do is work our way up. Oh wait, we need to put the water down here first. Um, so we'll place you here. Take you. Place you there. Go this way. Okay, that will be going there. Grab another water, go this way. So let's see if we can, in a way, oops. There we go. Okay. So let's break down that one, break down that one. Then we'll place this one. So, oh yeah, that might be actually good to work from a way um, bottom to up upward. Because then the things might start spawning and falling. So that might work actually. Oh, wait. Before that, we need to close off this part. Oh no, where did the creeper come from? of space maybe up there 
there is it in our just blaze forward to spawn. Huh. That's good. Let's sleep for the night through. Oh wait, they say L or row above on the roof that they can spawn. Okay, that's not good. Um that is okay. Okay, so we need to go down. Loot bags. Oh, got two. Silicon paper. I don't know what was this? Packing tape. Hmm. Don't know what that is for. Okay, so first of all we need to close this off. Then we need to place this here and there so that we can kill the zombie baby zombies. Um we might actually Okay, I'm doing this all wrong. Um. So I'm not sure. Maybe we'll get to the top. Let's get out of here. Hmm, now I don't have something to eat with. Or to break with. Come on, break. Okay, the th thing is if there's ladders to the side, you know the mobs that drop won't... Um, take damage because the ladders will break them. Ooh, there's no loot bags. Back in tape again and I don't know what we'll do with that. Um, ooh, interpol, obsidian shovel. Ooh, that's nice. I'll take that. Maybe we should put a um, hopper down there. Okay, so let's put that away. Because the interpols is good stuff. Very good stuff. Take put the shovel away. Eh, just dump it there. Why not? Food goes in there. Silicon, we don't have place yet. Okay, so let's see how we're going to get into front to the top. Actually, um, we might just do this. Let me get another pickaxe, otherwise we're going to break with our hands forever. Hands forever. Okay, we're on top. So if I'm not mistaken, it should be around here. Yes, okay. Okay, now we're going to make our way out from the bottom, right? That's what we said. Okay. Yes. Okay, so let's open these guys. And put you back. Okay, so the bottom is lowest level already. Does not have any torches, so we break down these torches. Okay, that's going to be problematic, I think, in a second. Actually, I need to do this so that you can walk over. There we go. Okay, so that should be it for that level.
Okay, another one of these. Okay, now we just go get grab the torches. If the skeleton spawns there, it will shoot us off of this and we might have a problem. That's why I say, say it might be problematic. Okay, so I think that's it. Oh wait, just want to make sure, yes. So now we break that one, then we break this one, and we put this here, and we good. We good, we good. And now we should have some spawns happening. Well, any second now, actually. Um, I'm not sure if I want to put the ladder over here. Or not. The point the idea was to make a ladder down. Maybe to the sides. But oh, there's one problem. Spiders was going to mess up that spawning over there. That's okay. So let's see if that works. Ah, there's something. See, they already had two hearts, so we just hit them a few times. Notch. Okay, cool. Probably gives us a notch apple, yes. Skeleton. Oh, look here. Inferior essence. Yes. And uh, there's a baby zombie. Loot bags. All the loot bags. Now we're going to get a bunch of stuff and more Inferium. Very loot bag uncommon. Uh, what is this used for? We need to make the seed, which is this one. Nope. This one. So we need eight of them. We already have two. So let's grab a couple more. I'm hungry. And we have bones and all the fun stuff. Okay, so I think we have enough loot now. Nice, 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 nice. I like it. Let's see what we got. A drawer key, yes. Then we now we don't have to make it. Another one of these piggyback stuff. Okay. Now we have XP actually to enchant stuff. So now we just need to get more diamonds and we can enchant it. Well, those mobs can spawn there. Don't mind about that. And we have a bunch of mobs now. Okay, let's do the Ethereum seed thing. Let me quickly clear up my inventory and I'll bring you back in a sec. Okay, let's see. I just quickly slept. All should be good and well with the world. So let's see. Okay, we've dumped that back. Let's grab a normal seed. I think that's on the outside. Before that, let's grab these guys should be there okay so one seed just to show that we did do this tada inferior seed nice okay so that, with this we'll get a bunch of more inferiums done and dusted great so now once we have more inferior seeds we can get more Ethereum and then we can start producing some seeds. So what I will do is try getting one of these infusion crystals, which we need prosperity shards with, which we get from a sieve, from sand or an iron sieve. So 
I'm going to go sifting and we're also going to see if we can find diamonds so that we can make a diamond sieve as well because the chance goes up drastically with that look at that diamond drop chance three percent from gravel okay little rack that would be very good to have Just must find out where we can get that and red than ten percent that's good to know um where do we get this we can actually make that if we can get some um, of these guys with the dust um let's see where we can get this Okay, so we can grow that. With the last, okay, so it just goes no loop. Okay, but for now I'm going to call it. What's there that has a name on it? Something with a name on there. Something which. Compressed, which I okay, don't know what that is, but anyway, okay, we'll uh, call it here. I'll work on the sifting a bit, um, maybe get a see if we can get more diamonds, get a diamond sift going, and get more inferium seeds. Okay, so what we need is the infusion crystal, and we need prosperity shards, which we get from sand. So, yes, let me do that, guys. I'll do that off cam. And once again, I'll we have to call it. Thank you for joining me. Hope you liked this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers!